Here's a GRE geometry question. Let's take a look. A, B, C, and D are ropes with lengths 1, 2, 3, and 4, respectively. What shape created by the ropes will enclose the maximum area? All right, let's get past one point here. This whole 1, 2, 3, and 4 business is a little bit of a red herring. For all intents and purposes, we can just consider this one rope, right? Because we can put one next to the other like this, and then maybe like that, and then we can do a triangle. Like, I don't know. There are, there are an infinite number of shapes that we could make with this amount of rope if we just put them together. So all of these are possibilities. But the question is, which area will enclose the most? Well, consider this. What is the total length that we have here? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 10. So we have 10 inches of rope to play with or 10 units of rope to play with. I could make a square out of those total, I can make a square out of the, the total um, uh, length, right? With a perimeter of 10. But what if I took this piece and kept all these, all these points where they are and kind of stretched it out that way? Right? That encloses a little more area. And then I take this piece, think of it like a stake in the ground, and I pull it out that way. Okay, so that's bigger. And now it's not just a square. I could also you know, pull out that piece and that piece. And I keep stretching this out as much as I can. Eventually, the greatest area that you can enclose will be the one enclosed by a circle. And the, the other way to think about this is go from a square to a pentagon, to a hexagon, to an uh, octagon, nonagon, decagon, dodecagon, right? That's 12. These shapes start getting more and more circular the more size that they have. So the answer to this one is E. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my online course, follow the link on my profile.